All right, folks, this is the uh, Neptune Systems Aqua Junior Controller. This is actually a controller for your uh, fish tank or uh, whatever application you can make out of it. But uh, most commonly, it's used in reef fish tanks where they have uh, a lot of uh, requirements with uh, day to day routines of light cycles or temperature constants or like, uh, like a water pump or pH monitors and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how this thing works. It's uh, it's called the Aqua Junior, Aqua Controller Junior by Neptune Systems. It's got three buttons up here: uh, up, select, and down. And uh, it's got a couple of power cords that come out of the bottom. This is the X10, which plugs into a uh, a unit that has ten outlets. This way, this can monitor which unit goes on, off, and stuff like that. This is the temperature probe which is uh, ultimately gets till here. It's a little probe that uh, senses temperature and increments of... Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much, but it's extremely accurate. And uh, it could keep your, uh, you know, your fish tank or whatever into a very... Uh, into a certain range that you decide on the controller. Uh, this is a pH monitor. What it does is uh, it monitors your pH and tells you what the pH is right here, so you don't have to looking for pH kits. So let's plug this in and let me show you how this thing exactly works. This is the uh, power cord and uh, this is what it looks like. Like a little dongle, very small, not really that power consuming. So I'm going to take this out and plug this right in. Here we go. Alright, guess you missed this. So I'll plug this right back in again for you. Um, comes in and it says uh, aqua boot setup and uh, here this thing we're looking at uh, here it's got little waves so it's probably saying hello or something um, I bought this used so it's probably been configured and uh, you know but I'm I'm okay with it and uh, I'm probably gonna set this up for my reef tank coming up soon it's three buttons what here it has is the uh, uh, temperature pH and the time and a little wave symbol or something like that so let me show you how this menu thing works we've got select we got main menu run control to slash control slash status data log setup self test run let's see run and that goes on to the main screen back again it's running it's running the application that it was made for hit select you hit control to slash you say feed Feed is when you you can hit feed select and all your pumps will go off. This will allow you to uh, feed your fish for any slow moving fish that you know are having difficulty catching food. Uh, manual control. So let's say you hit this. This is a uh, high two. This is you know, wave makers, lights, uh, moonlights, uh, just just you know all the things of that sort. So what this thing can actually do is uh, let's say where that probe go. This is the uh, temperature probe. You could drop it in, say, in your water, and it will. Uh... Here, let me just clear out. Let me clear out of this thing so I could probably show you what I'm doing here. Sorry, it's my first time making a video, so I'm really not that, you know, proficient with it. But um, trying my best. Let's see. Run. There we go. So now we're in the run screen again. This is what it's uh, showing us. Right now it's showing us 69.0, 68.7 temperature. I'm going to dip this controller, this is the uh, temperature probe, right in the water. And it's going to shoot up and tell me what the uh, temperature is. So it keeps on dropping down. It's at 80, 68.9, 69.6. And it's keep on going up until uh, it reaches an equilibrium. What do you think it's? It is. Now how this controller actually works is on the X10 outlet, what it does is it has a 10 port and uh, you could plug in different different devices and they all have numbers as in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And in here you could configure, say let's say if the temperature drops down to uh, 78.5, I want the uh, heater to kick in. So the heater kicks in this way, you're not running a heater 24-7, it only kicks in when you need it. And uh, let's say you have it set, so as soon as the temperature goes to 80 degrees, a couple fans kick in. So this way, 
fans, let's say something like the uh, like the Isuzu cooling fan, like which I just bought for uh, the fish tank, will kick back in, and this will allow, you know, the temperature of your fish tank to stay in an equilibrium. So as soon as it goes too low, kick in a heater. If it goes too high, it will kick in a fan. And it also has a stage two, so as soon as after the fan is still on, but if it's not enough to cool your fish tank down, what it will do, let's say you have it set up, as soon as your fish tank reaches 83 degrees, it will kick back in and uh, it will start, let's say, a chiller, which is like an upgraded version of cooling your fish tank. Uh, so this will kick in a chiller and this will bring your temperature back down to uh, 78. And it's all it's all programmed in here. So as soon as you say, I want the temperature to kick in at 84 or 82, and I want it, the chiller to stop when it goes back to 78. So you can program this all inside here. And uh, this is the Aqua Junior controller. And it's got an X10 system, which is probably still connected to the fish tank I bought it with. So I really don't know uh, how I could take this down to show it to you right now. It's sitting in my basement. And uh, yeah, this this just goes right along with the uh, computer, right with the uh, the Tunzi water level control that I was talking about earlier. And uh, yeah, this this all stuff works, and you know it helps keep your uh, fish tank in an equilibrium phase. So you don't have to take care of a lot of things, and it does quite a few things for you, like turning the lights on in the morning, and uh, turning them off. Like if I, if you have like a couple uh, different different lights, like let's say you have some Atenix, you have some daylights, and you have moonlights. So in the morning it will kick on the daylights, and then in the uh, mid of the day it will kick on moon, you know Atenix, and uh, in a couple hours it will turn them back off, depending on you know what you set your programming to be. And at night time it will go on and uh, kick your moonlights on turn them off it could do power heads it could do wave makers so you know you have different waves going around and uh, it's technically a really nice setup but uh, honestly it's not the best I have seen much better and uh, I really don't like the whole box layout of this thing but uh, end of the day it does what it was supposed to do I'm really more uh, keen to using the reef keeper too which I had before and I bought this, but I'm really not happy with it. I might just sell it off again and uh, buy Reef Keeper because Reef Keeper might not do two things that this thing does, but it's still a lot more sturdier and it looks a lot better and it's easier to program than this thing right here. Um, overall, it's a great unit. People love it a lot. It's called the cheap man's computer for your for your you know fish tank. And uh, the great thing is you can find them used. I got this on ReefCentral.com. From a website, and uh, some seller was selling it used, and I bought it right off with a fish tank, and I got it for a great deal. But uh, overall, it's pretty good. If you're looking into buying something like this, and if you're not looking for something you know that just looks nice, but you want something that will perform, this is it. This is the uh, Aqua Controller Junior. But if you want something you know that will look a little better in your uh, fish tank, and uh, do two less things that this thing can do, which hardly, not most of us use, then I would suggest to go for the Reef Keeper too. Um, otherwise, this is a great device, but it has a lot of wires coming out, as you can see. It looks kind of ugly if plugged in front of your uh, in front of your fish tank, compared to the Reef Keeper 2, of course. I mean, you know, people like gadgets, but Reef Keeper 2 is the way to go. If not, this is it. Aqua Control Junior by Neptune Systems and uh, sorry for my flimsy uh, video making methods this is the uh, first time I'm making one and I probably will get better eventually I hope uh, thank you very much and please comment bye